Welcome back to Detroit Pissing Me Off. What went wrong with the Pistons in the fourth quarter versus the Indiana Pacers? We'll discuss that. We'll get to the positives from the game. There were several I'd like to talk about, but first, what went wrong? The Pistons had 106 points with just eight and a half minutes left to go in the ballgame. They finished with 113. The Pistons only had six turnovers heading into the fourth quarter. They finished with 14. They got cold from the field in the fourth quarter. They also started turning the ball over, something they had done a very nice job. Only six turnovers, like I said, in the first three quarters. Fourth quarter, they pretty much blew it. They lost by 22, 39-17 in the fourth quarter. You got a high-octane offensive team like the Indiana Pacers. They were able to stay neck and neck the entire game, but they just lost it at the end. It's been a, a reoccurring theme here this year as they've now lost 13 straight ball games. And are now two and fourteen. The positives of the ball game tonight: we saw the emergence of Jaden Ivey settling it in to his role back in the starting lineup. It was amazing getting to the rack in this one. He was tough. He was physical. He was using his speed. He knew when to go fast. He knew when to slow it down. He continues to play like this. He can be that second option to Cade Cunningham. Now, Cade Cunningham, remarkable first half in this one. He did finish with thirty-one, but he scored twenty-two points. Didn't have a single turnover till the end of the first half. He did finish with four overall, so he had three in the second half. And then Jay Ivey had three turnovers as well. But a better job there tonight from both both players, limiting the turnover, especially in the first half. I think they ran out of gas once again. I don't know, maybe Kate needs to step up his um, his cardio a bit. Fourth quarter, he hasn't been clutch like he has been in the past. Yeah, I put this one on Cade Cunningham. He's the leader. Did not deliver down the stretch. And really none of the Pistons did down the stretch, so. That was a bit disappointing, but we're on to the positives now. So, you know, Cade did get 31 points, shot the ball very well in the beginning, 9 of 18, 2 of 4 from behind the arc. But then it finished like uh, 10 of 26, so he struggled. He was taking good shots, good medium-range jumpers. They just weren't falling there in the fourth quarter, but he's got to take over the ball game. He's the leader of his team. He'll have to shoulder the responsibility for that. In the wins and losses right now, the losses are piling up. But I think soon, hopefully... On Monday, we play the Washington Wizards, a team that is right on the level of the Pistons. They just have a couple of victories as well. So the Pistons will be at rock bottom if they fall to the Wizards on Monday. It was great to see Jalen Duran back in the lineup. He played pretty well, 5 of 10, got a double dub. He wasn't that complete beast that we saw in the first couple games, but I think he's going to work his way back to that solid performance there by Jalen Duran tonight. Isaiah Livers, I like the lineup that... Uh, Monty's thrown out there. He seems like Isaiah Livers. He likes his defensive versatility. He likes his three-point shooting. Very solid game tonight from Livers. Finished three for five from the field and two for four from downtown. Also, I'd say Jay Nivey defensively tonight. Some solid improvement there on the defensive end. Got a steal, got a block. The effort's usually there. Tart Thompson, very efficient game. Four or five from the field. Sasser only got five minutes tonight. Overall, some improvement from the Pistons in this game. You know, maybe with a Bojan Bogdanovic in this one, we're able to keep the offensive firepower going in the fourth quarter, but they just they completely fizzled out. And I'd like to see maybe Cade Cunningham reduce his minutes a bit when Bojan comes back. Hopefully that'll be able to give extra energy that they're going to need from Cade Cunningham down the stretch. That's all I got on this one. We'll be back to discuss the Washington Wizards game on Monday, if not before. And I'll see you next time on Detroit. Pissing me off. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel.